been a while since I've done a video, um, and I just wanted to do something very simple. So I replaced the clock on this Korg Electribe, uh, you know, ES1, uh, very standard, shitty sampler, great interface, limited memory, but you know, it's actually not that shitty. I, I love most Korg things. Um, haven't added any music of my own or or any beats of my own or anything like that. This is just, just this is one of the ones that whoever bought it from had uh, left in it. So here, uh, this is what it sounds like at normal speed. I'll overclock it a little bit. Let's push it all the way up. Um, at extreme, extreme clock speeds, you start hearing some cool distortion in the, in the delay. So I'm clocking it down. It runs from about 28 megahertz, which is, you know, 20%, no, 40% higher than the stock clock, down to about 3 megahertz. Um, and I just wanted to do a standard LTC mod to get back in the swing of things. Um, I think I'm going to put right here, I'm going to put access port for one of my waveform modifications for these things. One of the things I love about these machines is that at slightly below stock speed, you start hearing some real nice crunching. And the effects change because they're clocked by the same master crystal. And because there are pitch controls on each sample, I can have some samples that I keep as a reference. Got to put a screw in. Like I said, these aren't my samples or beats. One thing I like a lot is the very low sample rates. The, the delay lasts a very long time. And then you can peel it back in. I really love, um, Delay on full and time on minimal, so it's it's really just kind of goes anywhere from just a echo.
I mean, a flange kind of effect to a slapback as you lower the speed. keep it updated as I add more effects, I mean as, as I add more features and I'll probably work on a song using this. Thanks for watching.